Ariel store, home of DB Cooper days. Let's see if we can find a path over there. Look down in there. Oh my gosh, Axel! Dude, look. this is so creepy. All right, let's go. Let's You're gonna go, go in there? Okay, so I'm gonna go right up there and throw the escape ropes down to Deary and Axel. Pull them up. There you go. Down. You good? Come on out! There's all these creepy cave bugs in here. Hello! DB Cooper! Are you in there? Say something! That is a pretty epic tool there. That could break oh. into a safe if we ever yeah. needed to break into a safe again. What is up, adventure agents? Okay, so um, me and Axel we'll are a little bit sick today. Daddy, look. Yeah, this. it's rainy and cold. That shape. could too. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, watch this jammy. <laughs> yeah, just pry it open. I think that one will work better. The big one. <laughs> That's the exact same thing. It's just bigger. So watch this. We were at a hardware store. We were about to go to Ariel, Washington, to follow the case, the DB Cooper case, the clue we found last time. Uh, what, what did it say? Marble Falls. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, on, on the twenty dollar bill, we found the clue. Oh, watch. We can do this, Daddy. Just whack it. Yeah, there's a lot of tools here. A lot of really cool chisels, giant hammers. Oh, oh, that is a pretty hardcore hammer right there. So we are gonna go and search around the area where D.B. Cooper evidently landed with his parachute. Evidently, that's what the FBI thinks. And we are going to need some rope, I think. So we're climbing just in case. We're gonna get some rope, come on. You ready? Let's go. Here we go. Okay, so this is some of the escape rope that we had in Maui, but we left it behind there. Some of the same escape rope that Axel rescued me from the Cliffs of Doom with. Let's see a back shot of that. Looks like this ledge goes all the way around over there. I'm gonna have to kind of climb around there, around the edge, and see if I can see a cable. I gotta be careful because it's really, really narrow here. Oh, oh! Pikachu! I need the escape rope! Help! Agent Pikachu! Come quick! I need the escape rope! Throw the rope down here! Is it anchored on? Wrap it around that rock right there! It's nice and tight, right? Good work, Agent Pikachu! I'm coming up! Agent Tex is coming up. Do you remember whenever Axel rescued me from the Cliffs of Doom? Yep, that was pretty crazy. And that rope is right over here. It's the same exact rope that he used. So I think we should get this. What do you guys think? Yes. What, what rope do you think? You think this rope? or Oh, actually, this is the same exact rope. It's just uh, uh, blue and... and uh, Let's get this one. That's you want the red one? Should, okay. We should get this one right. <clears throat> all right, well, how about uh, you guys can each get some rope, okay? Darian, you can get that one. Axel, which one do you want to get? We're going to get some escape rope for each of us. We should each have our very own escape rope. I think we should. Yeah, which one do you want, Axel? Darian's going to get the red and white that one. That one. You want this one? No, this is not a safe rope right here. This right here, this, it, it could fracture right here. We wanna be careful. We gotta make absolutely sure that if that? your How life's on the line, this How rope is way need? better than this rope right here. You want this rope? How much do we need? Uh, no. This is the same rope you used to rescue me. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa there. Really? How, much? How much do you not need? Not that much. <laughs> These kids. Oh my goodness, that is way too much. Well, actually, we might get that much because I, I might get the same color rope. Okay, so we got our ropes here. Axel got this brown one, Darian got this one, and I got this green one. So now we are headed to the drop zone, to ground zero, where the FBI really believed that D.B. Cooper must have landed in Ariel, Washington, okay? And we need these ropes just in case. Come on, let's head there. So, where we are headed, for any of you who missed out on the last episodes, we are on the case, the unsolved case of the D.B. Cooper plane hijacking, where D.B. Cooper, back in 1970s, hijacked a plane, got $200,000 cash, jumped out of the plane with the cash and some parachutes right above Ariel, Washington, where we are headed right now. Ariel, Washington is right where the Lewis River is, and there's a giant dam there. And the FBI estimates that D.B. Cooper landed right in this area. He may very well have landed in the forest right around Ariel, or he may even have landed in the lake by a giant dam in the Lewis River. We don't know for sure, but we're headed there to check it out. 
Okay, so we're getting close to Ariel. It's super foggy here. Oh, there it is right there. Ariel. That sign says Ariel. Yes. Ariel okay, store. Okay, we are here. Ariel, Ariel store. store. What does it say? Okay. Ariel store. Okay, we're gonna Stephen get Stephen Cooper's day. What? Yeah. It said it's Ariel it. store. Okay, let's go check this out. We found something here. We're gonna go check this out. Something that says Stephen Cooper. All right, so shut the door. Be careful, there's cars coming. Look both ways. All right, let's cross, come on. Okay, so Axel look sees a sign over here. No, look right there. Oh. Right there. What does it say? Uh, Merwin Park, Merwin Hatchery Headquarters. Right but this there. is a sign right here. Ariel Store, home of DB Cooper days. Dude, check it out. Look, there's DB Cooper in a parachute and the money coming out with the briefcase. Wow, oh, this is cool. Okay, so I think we're at the right place here. Okay, so now we need to find Marble Creek and, and hopefully find a waterfall which I assume would be Marble Falls. Well, what do you think? What do you guys think? Are we in the right place? Yeah. I think we are. <laughs> I think this is pretty good evidence that we are in the right place. All right, let's go back and see if we can find Marble Falls. Come on. All right, so here is Marble Creek right there. See that? Marble Creek. And we are right here. So we just need to go on down the road until we find a little rift right there. See that little jog in the road? All right. <laughs> Let's buckle up Are you and head excited? over. Yeah. You guys excited? Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> Me and Axel are kind of sick, so if you sound a little like, uh, it's because we're kind of sick. Right. Yeah, maybe we're oh. Wait, what did, what did you say? Maybe you guys are turning into zombies. Maybe we're turning into zombies. I don't know, maybe we've been infected by the zombie virus. Do you remember any zombies biting you at any point no. in time? No. I don't think so. No, Daddy. Unless Daddy, River is a Daddy, zombie. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> what? Don't you remember that when I stuck my head in the zombie's mouth and got the dart out? Oh, the box fort zombie? <laughs> yeah. But that wasn't really a zombie. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. I guess maybe it could have turned into a zombie. <laughs> There's That's a trail down there. All right, get your escape ropes. Get your escape ropes. What did you say? There's a giant waterfall over there. Okay, so Darian says there's a giant waterfall there and I can hear something really loud, really loud hey, rushing hey. water. Okay, so we are geared up. Got my backpack on here. Got my escape rope. And we are headed down. Oh my goodness, whoa. Dude, that is pretty sweet. Okay. See that hole? See that hole? See it? Where the water's coming out? Yeah. Okay, so there's definitely some kind of waterfall around this here. Is really steep. Let's make our way. Oh, this cliff is really steep. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Alright, whoa, we're almost up there. We gotta be really careful. Everyone be really careful. Look, if I slip and fall and bash my head on that, no bueno. No bueno. Let's be careful. We live in the Pacific Northwest here in Washington. And this time of year, everything is super wet and super slippery. So we have got to be very careful. Look at that giant waterfall right there. There's a giant, do you see that? Yeah. Dude. Yeah, I think there's a bigger one right there. So there's a waterfall, but that I think is like a legit giant waterfall. Okay, so we are heading down and I actually got a hold of something really cool here. This is a vine maple and you can actually hold on to it and use it like a safety rope. So I don't even need to use my escape rope right now because we have vine maples all the way down this hill. Check this one out right here. So when you're out in nature, you don't always have a safety rope. You just gotta use what you find around you. This vine maple is green. See that? It's a good sturdy safety line. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. All right. And boom. Another maple right here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Good thing it's here. All right, I am at the bottom. Come on down, you two. You got it. All right, here we are. Okay, we are coming to the edge. Whoa. Now, this is a waterfall. Now, look, be careful because look, 
If you slip right there, boom, 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 you're gone, right? So we gotta stay away from the edge of this waterfall. Okay, so. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no. All right, so we gotta be very careful from this point out. Now, what do you think? Should we go around that side to go down or go around that side over there? Looks like there's some kind of trail over there. Wanna check that out? We could use our escape ropes from those trees down there. All right, we're gonna go around this way around the waterfall. There you go. All right, you got it? There you go. All right, we made it to the other side. You got it? Agent Rex is going that way up there. It's probably a good idea. Oh. Oh. Alright, here. Axel. Here, take the escape rope. You got it? Okay. Okay. Alright, so we made it to the other side of the waterfall. Now we gotta find a way down Daddy, over here. Look at all these huckleberries. Yeah, there's lots of huckleberries right here. That's gonna be delicious. Alright, what do you got going on here? Okay, you're tying your rope off here? Yeah. That's a good idea. Okay, so. That looks like it's the path down, but man, that is a steep path. We are definitely gonna need our escape ropes to get down there. Check that out. Woo, buddy. That's kind of freaky. Okay, so he's gonna chunk the rope down. Let's see it. There you go. All right, nice. Okay, so make sure this is good and sturdy. We're gonna have a double safety line here. Agent Rex has this rope around his waist and we have a rope tied onto this post right here. He's gonna lower himself down. I'm gonna hold on here with this rope, okay? There you go. Okay. He's doing great. Get to the end of the rope. I'm getting, I'm getting to the end of the rope here. You got it? Okay. All right, he made it. All right, Axel, it's your turn. Okay. All right. All right, you got it? There you go, now. Turn around. You're facing the wall. There you go. All right. Just way down. You're good. You're good. He's doing great. All right, he's okay. All right, you got it. <laughs> Be careful. All right, you got it. All right, now it's my turn. I made it down. Oh, a bottle? Okay, we've already found something. What is it? Oh, an old bottle. Oh, there's like a cave down in there. Look at that a bottle. Cave. Okay, so look at that bottle. It's a bottle, yeah. Is there anything yeah. in it? Let's see, it's an old bottle. It's glass. Uh, All right, guys. I don't see anything in it. I'm you nope, don't see anything in it. Oh my goodness! Ah. Check this waterfall out. Oh yeah, look at the grass waving. Oh man! Woo! That is a lot of water! I feel the rush! Okay, okay, we're looking for clues! Come on! Ow! Oh! Oh, I hit my head! Whoa. Okay. Woo! We made it to the other side! Come on! Did you hit your head? We both hit our head. Are you okay? Yeah. I hit 
hit my head too. <laughs> I ran right into it. Okay, let's look in here. The crevices. Ah. I don't see anything in there. All right. So we're looking for like a hideout, a cave, a stash, anywhere where you might hide money. <laughs> All right. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Whoa, over here. What do you see? A giant cave right there. Okay, so Darian says he sees a giant cave right there. Let's check it out. See something. Uh, I don't know, go check it out. It does look like something right there. <clears throat> uh. Is there anything? Look how fat that tree is. Wow, that is a big western red cedar. So Axel, yeah. there's the dam right there. There's a big hydroelectric dam. And D.B. Cooper could have flown down with his parachute and landed. Right in the water over there, maybe. I don't know, it's a possibility. Really dangerous to do that with parachutes on you. How you doing, Axel? Good. Good, okay, all right. He's still a little sick, so I gotta watch him. We're gonna make it back up the creek, see if we can find another waterfall up there. Didn't find anything in this waterfall. Let's keep moving. Okay, we made it up. Man, these ropes sure came in handy, didn't they? Yeah. Yep. Never know when you need an escape rope. All right, so before we head up to see if there's another waterfall, we are going to fuel up with some Nick Sticks here. Grass-fed beef jerky sticks. They fuel the adventurers. Thank you, Nick Sticks, for giving us these grass-fed beef jerky sticks. Oh yeah. When you're out on the go, you need good quality fuel. Mmm. This is good fat for your brain. So you can think when you're solving mysteries. Guys, look, do you see that? Dude, check that out. Okay, so Axel found a cave right here. Whoa, way down in there. Damn, I find that I cave? I didn't see anything in there. Yeah, and then Darian found a cave over there. You see anything? Oh, this is an old culvert. Ooh, man. Did he bring a flashlight? Maybe D.B. Cooper could have hidden out in here. It looks like it ends right there. See, that's the back. I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't see any money or anything. Ah. Yeah, D.B. Cooper landed around here. Must have had to hide out for a while for the FBI to find him. Whoa, check that out. This is a gigantic wood sorrel. Oh. Mm. That's pretty good. <laughs> Uh oh, you want some of it? Oh, you got your own. <laughs> Come on up here, check this out. Oh, I found a crazy cave right here. Check this out. Oh, oh no. That is so creepy. Oh, oh man, I definitely don't wanna go in there. Oh, check yeah. that out, dude. Look in there. It goes way back. Look down in there. Oh my gosh, Axel! Dude, look. this is so creepy. All right, let's go. You're gonna, gonna go first. in there? Who's going first? You? Him? Uh, you no. I don't trust that. I don't want to get crushed. You never know with these Turn old the cement in. culverts, they could just collapse at any time. Hello! DB Cooper! Are you in there? Say something! All I hear is an echo. I'll go in. <laughs> You're gonna go in there. Don't go too far, okay? Uh. Ooh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that is pretty creepy. I think I saw something <clears throat> new. You saw something in there moving? Yes. Yeah, you never know what could be in there. That could be a home with some coyotes or something. I don't know. How about uh, you go? Me? Yes. All right.
Oh. You see anything? You didn't see anything? I, I went pretty far in there. Okay, I'm gonna go in now. Whoa, there's all kinds of bugs in here. Hello? Hello? It's, it's no. so creepy. No, okay. Ah. Axel, okay, come on. coming. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, it just keeps going and going. Oh, look at that spider! Oh, shit, that thing out. That's not a spider, that's a oh, oh, but there's so many in here. There's, there's all these creepy cave bugs in here. Wow. Alright, I, I don't think we should go any farther. Let's go back. Oh, I went farther than this. Yeah, but here's the problem. You see this? This used to be the culvert under the road. I think that it must have collapsed at some point and they had to rebuild it over there. That's why all the water is only through it. That's kind of dangerous. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty dangerous. But we'll see these two prohibited <clears throat> Well, let's look a little farther. We can always come back. Hey, you know what we need to do? What? We need to come back with an RC car and attach the GoPro to it. Yes. Yes, okay, so. That'll be a less dangerous plan. We go back with an RC car and attach the GoPro to it and send it up inside of there. That way, if it collapses, it won't hurt us. Yeah, you shouldn't crawl into those tight spaces like that. Definitely shouldn't do that, really dangerous. So you see that up there, all the water coming out under the road? I think this used to be where it went, but it collapsed in the middle somewhere. And that's really dangerous. Yeah, yeah, that, that can be really dangerous. If it collapsed at one time, it could collapse at another time. And this is the time of year when there's landslides and collapses all the time. So we, we definitely don't want to go back up in there. But look, if we don't find anything further up, we can come back with an RC car, attach a GoPro to it, and send that on up in there. Okay, so we're crossing over here. Come on, let's get over. The creek goes under the road. Ah, oh, I think that might be where we were going from. Let's go over here. Oh, okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it. Do you see that? That is a giant waterfall. Okay, I think we're on to something. Come on, let's go. Whoa! So this is where the creek goes under the road there. Let's follow it up to that waterfall. All right, so we got an agent down. Axel is not feeling good. So I'm gonna help him out and carry him. Yeah. <clears throat> it's good. Uh, He's pretty sick. <laughs> it's good to be out getting a little exercise when you're sick, fresh air, <clears throat> moving your body a bit, but too much can be counterproductive and the energy your body needs to make you better, well, <clears throat> that energy is being used to just move too much. So let's give him a little break. Look at that cave. Oh, that's just a, oh, huh. Hey, that looks like a like a good little animal cave right there. Oh. <laughs> a fox. A fox or something, yeah. There's some broken twigs there. Definitely looks like something lives in there. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna get away. Fox. Porcupine something. <laughs> hey, maybe it's uh, a skunk. A skunk, yeah. No, maybe Ooh. Aerith or a fox. Maybe Aerith, yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a porcupine from a book. Aerith's birthday, remember? <laughs> Alright, adventurers. Well, we'll leave that stuff there. There is the waterfall. This thing is gigantic. It's massive. Wow. Oh, man. This must be Marble Face Rock. I guess, maybe that's why they call it Marble Falls. You okay? I don't see how we can get up there. It's too steep, even with an escape rope. Oh, uh, looks like somebody stacked these rocks right here. Well, I think we should go to the top of the waterfall. Wow. But it's too dangerous over there. Let's see if we can find a path over there. Hi. All right, let's go around. Okay, so I'm gonna go right up there and throw the escape ropes down to Deering Axel, pull them up. 
We're gonna try to work our way up to the top of the waterfall. We'll see if it works. All right, you two. So, Darian, you're gonna hold that one. Axel, you hold this one, okay? I'm gonna hold this one. Okay, or right, Axel, you hold that one. It doesn't matter. Now, what I'm gonna do is, when I get to the top, way up there, I'm gonna make this noise. Okay? okay. And that means I'm gonna start pulling you up, okay? okay? All right, wait for my signal. We got 100 feet of rope here. That ought to help us. Good mount. Let's head up to the top. This is really steep terrain. And I've gotta be careful. If I dislodge rocks like this, they'll come tumbling down and hit Darian and Axel below. I don't want that to happen. Okay, I made it up. All right. Come on up. I gotta make sure I have a firm grip on this rope. So I keep one hand like that. So in case it starts slipping, I got it good. I think I see him coming out. You doing okay? Hold on with both hands. Whoa, whoa. Lost my footing there. Gotta get oh, better footing. Okay. Nice work, you two. Got it? All right. Hold on to that knot. Uh-oh, uh-oh, whoa, whoa. You okay? Grab the rope. Agent Rex slipped. You got it? Okay. Hold on to the rope. It's right there. It's right there. You got it? It's right there in front of you. See if you can make it. Oh, oh, you okay? Do you have any water? Yes, I have water. Okay. There we go. All right, dude, check this rock out right here. It's a giant towering rock just right in the middle of all this. It's pretty sweet looking. It looks like some ancient castle. Some ancient peoples lived here. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, it's so <laughs> like it looked like a fake to us down there. You guys did great. Game five. Nice work. Oh. All right. Oh, whoa. You okay? All right, come on up. There you go. There you go. All right, oh, ho, ho, ho. this rock is cool. Look, there's like a crevice right in between. It looks like a some kind of ancient tower, like I was saying. That is awesome. That's so cool. That is not there. Yeah, maybe it, it does kind of look like there's a nose right there, eyes, and, it, and that's the head or something. Pretty sweet. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, uh, there's a tomb here, yeah. What? What is it? A tomb? A tomb. Oh, whoa. What is going on with this D.B. Cooper mystery? What did Darian find up in that rock formation? Oh, my goodness, this is getting way too intense. Well, remember, life's an adventure, and love is the key. We'll see you on the next adventure.